boys and girls, sports fans, other assorted waifs and strays, Dan here, JDOD, and I'm with Narendra Singh, Singh of Apirio. And you're the premier, what do you do? What does your company do? Come on. Aperio is a cloud solutions provider. We help the largest and fastest growing companies in the world take advantage of the cloud and turn their companies into cloud powered businesses. Right, right, right. Now, you've got a really interesting, cool tool coming up. What is this about and why do we need it? So basically, we are introducing cloud metrics for Salesforce.com this week. And what this comes from is we've had years of working with Salesforce.com and other cloud systems and have had gotten a chance to see how effective they can be. At the same time, companies are now going from making very small applications with the cloud to using them to drive mission critical parts of their business. Mm -hmm. It's like going from flying a crop duster to a 747 across the world. Right. And to do that, they need real instrumentation, real metrics on code quality, on configuration versus code, on how those correlate with adoption, and many other items that let them navigate in a much different way. And so what cloud metrics for salesforce.com will do is it lets them introspect their information, see what's going on, lets them benchmark against other Salesforce instances, and gives them the metrics they need and the benchmarks so that they can chart their own course. Now, you know, you were explaining this to me, and the, the way I'm hearing it is that the cloud is the only way that you can realistically do this in an accurate manner because you've got access to the data, right? Absolutely. One of the things that's compelling is that we've built this technology that mm. can look into a Salesforce instance. And we can do that because Salesforce is in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So a customer can go through and say, in just five minutes, be able to provide us access to the subset of information, not their data, just the metadata about their technical implementation. So they can do that very securely. And then we can put it into a data set and compare it uh, ongoing. So the data gets better over time as well. So we'll be able to slice it by industry, by solution area, and get more and more fine-based results that help the companies tune their own situation. This seems to be a, a solution where, where the timing is right, because as we're coming into this particular Dreamforce, it strikes me that um, the maturity, if you will, A, of the market generally, and B, of, of, this, um, uh, of, of Salesforce's solutions is such that you know, you kind of need it. So, I mean, is this, is this why you're doing this at this moment in time? Yeah, I mean, Dennis, Aperio has been fortunate. We've worked with a lot of the leading Salesforce.com customers, right? right? So we've been seeing this problem for two years. Right. But now we're hitting a point where it's not an edge case to think about using Salesforce.com as an enterprise-wide platform. Mm. So what we saw two years ago was that for our customers, we needed to have these tools so that we could better manage them because it wasn't enough to be smart. You had to have real data and metrics so that you could guide your behavior, mm -hmm. and now the market's hitting that. And so what, we, what we've done is essentially take something that used to be a consulting engagement or our own internal tools and really productize it, made it very easy for companies to get signed up for so they can run audits on what's happening, understand the technical debt that's mm -hmm. been accumulated in their salesforce.com mm -hmm. org mm -hmm. over the years. And so Te we think- Technical debt? Come on, this is a cloud stuff. We're not supposed to get that, are yeah, we? Yeah, occasionally it occurs even in the cloud. <laughs> I think it, once you, uh, it's like a pair of clothes. No matter how nice the clothes were, you, the more you hand them down, the more they start to show wear. Sadly so, yeah, yes, sadly yes, so. Sad. Okay. So we think this is, I mean, look, this is really something that we've been seeing for two plus years. Right. And we think it's a great way for us to highlight our expertise, but really give a tool to the market when they need it. When you're going from crop plane to 747, and trying to do more ambitious things, you need better tools. And okay. This is the first of them. And and so this particular iteration, I think you said you're going to give give some of this away. Yeah. So you can run a you can go to you know we'll start it at Dreamforce. So if you come to our booth, you can run an automated report. We'll give you for free. We'll make that free for anyone after Dreamforce. And then that's really the first step in this longer offering um, that takes about two to five weeks and costs about twelve thousand dollars. Well, that seems almost for nothing, doesn't it? I like that you say that. <laughs> Maybe we'll raise the price. Thanks to Dennis for raising the price, no, everybody. Not at all, not at all. Boys and girls, Narinda, Aperio, pretty good model. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks a lot, Dennis.